Welcome to the Northampton Wastewater Treatment Plant. The Northampton, Northampton Wastewater Treatment Plant has been a plant since about the 1950s as a primary plant. We put together a new treatment plant, which was an upgrade in 1981, which is basically all the equipment you see here. We have made a couple upgrades to our, our facility, but all the wastewater that comes out of the Williamsburg, Leeds, Florence, Northampton area comes down here. What here we have here is the control panel. Right now you can see there's 4.3 million gallons of wastewater coming through the plant right now. For the pump stations, we have places throughout the city that are so low we have to pump them to get to a gravity. All the wastewater comes down here on gravity and then it has to be lifted within the plant to be able to continue out to the Connecticut River on gravity, which is about a mile, a mile from here. This is the uh, primary clarifiers. And right here in the primary, you get the quiescence. You have this, the floatables come to the top, they separate from the water, and with the sludge sinks to the bottom. It's got a skimmer arm, it collects the sc uh, scum as it comes out, goes over to this hopper right over here and collects the scum. We have to pump that at least twice a week, once a week, depending. So once we get a good load of scum, which is a lot, we, uh, we process it through a concentrator, and also that goes to a landfill for uh, disposal. So as the water comes in here and gets quiet, as you can see, it comes out under the baffle and over the sawtooth where is a clear, a clearer liquid. It doesn't have the grit in it, doesn't have the rocks in it, doesn't have the rags in it. Now it's becoming a, a liquid that we can handle and we also can pump efficiently and not have too much wear and tear on our equipment because basically the biggest wear and tear in here is what's in the wastewater. It could be sand, it could be rocks, and if you can keep this stuff out of your pumps, you're, you're well, well ahead of the game. This is the lowest part of the plant where it comes in on gravity flow. It now has to be lifted up to enable to get the water to continue on gravity to the Connecticut River. We're just conveying water from the lowest part on gravity to the next level where it goes out on gravity and into the aeration tanks. We have eight, aer eight aeration tanks online right now. Each one holds about 250,000 gallons of, uh, of liquid. We call it mixed liquor because it's mixed with microorganisms. What you have is the flow comes all the way down to these two end tanks. You can see the primary, primary flow, which is the food. That's from your primary tanks. And over here, that brown liquid is coming from the bottom of your secondary tanks. That's your activated sludge in your, that's reintroducing colonies back in here. This is all alive with microorganisms. So what happens here, underneath here, there's a lot of ceramic discs. There's about 600 ceramic discs under here blowing air. So we add the food, the primary, we add the air, we add more colonies, and you have a living entity. So once the liquid goes through the aeration tanks, it comes out as a mixed liquor into our secondary clarifiers. That will sink to the bottom and that will form a secondary sludge, a WAS sludge and the water coming out under the baffles and over the sawtooth wares, that will be the water that now is going to the Connecticut River. There'll be one more step of process for this water before we let it out of the plant. This is the, the final step before the, the, the Northampton wastewater effluent goes to the Connecticut River. It gets hit with chlorine as it comes around. What microorganisms that are not wanted are now being killed, pathogens and it goes out to the Connecticut River and by the time it gets to the Connecticut River it's pathogen free within the standards of EPA and DEP and ourselves and uh, good to play in. Well this is the laboratory in the Northampton Wastewater Treatment Plant. In here we do sample all the different liquids you have seen during the tour and also the cakes, the solids and what we do is we have to abide by the EPA rules and the DEP rules. We do data on a daily basis. We, we do the pHs, we do the settable solids, we do alkalinities, and that is all done by a lab tech that comes in here. We sampled various places of the treatment plant. Right here is the raw, which this is a sample of raw wastewater taken from the main line coming in, and you can see that it's kind of cloudy here, and, and then there's a whole bunch of uh, settables in here and we write down these numbers. This is the water coming out of your primary tanks, that's your primary sample. And this is a little cloudy, but yet it doesn't have the grit and the dirt and some of the debris in it. And this one right here is the secondary effluent, which is that's what's going to the Connecticut River right now. 
So I would almost willing to say that if we had a water a sample next to this one, it'd be pretty hard to tell the difference. We're trying to protect and make this Northampton a, a better place to, to live and work in and play.